Hello everyone, welcome to our new i2 5D tutorial. The aim of this video is to convert a cut building model in a CPI XML file and import the building model in i2. The condition to load a building model in i2 is an IFC or CPI interface in your cut software. IFC is an independent open source data format and applicable to all common software tools. The CPI interface, on the other hand, is especially for the data exchange between CUT software and i2. It was designed to avoid data loss during the exchange of building models and assures the quality of the transferred data. The i2 plugin is delivered with the software and needs to be installed in the CUT software. After preparing and, if necessary, checking the building model in Revit, it is ready for the export. We find the CPI plugin in the tab RIB or RIB. When we open the CPI export, we can select the path for the CPI XML file. On the left, we can choose which flaws we want to export. In this case, we want to use the whole building model, so we select all flaws and click on Start Export. If you don't have access to the CPI export, Revit has always the possibility to export the building model as an IFC file. On the top left side, you click on the Revit icon and then Export. Here you have the possibility to create an IFC file. That concludes the first part of the video and we switch to the software i2, where we will continue with the data processing. When you start i2 for the first time, it will ask you which configuration you want to use. The configuration packages contain settings for the software regarding language, functionalities, table views, print and project templates and a lot more. Once the settings are selected, they will be reloaded each time the software is starting. i2 includes two packages of standard settings. The package planning with the default settings for the client and the package construction with the default settings for the contractor. In this series, we are going to use the package planning. We begin by creating a new project in i2. On the home screen of i2, we find two ways to create a new project. The first way is to select New Project in the window Wizards in the top right corner of the screen. The second possibility is to click on the button Navigation at the bottom on the left of the screen. A pop-up appears and after a right-click on the folder Projects, we select New and afterwards New Project. A new window appears in which we give the project a name and assign a key. We click on the forward button and a second window appears where we have the possibilities to import data for example, catalogs and settings from existing projects. In our case, the default settings are sufficient and we continue by clicking on Finish. The new project was created. i2 opens automatically a new project window. Every project has a particular project overview to administrate the specific project data. The folder Project Alternatives contains, as the name suggests, all project alternatives or scenarios. To create a new project alternative, we move the cursor on the folder Project Alternatives and after a right click, we go on New and select Project Alternative. Each project alternative offers the possibility to create different modules for further work with the building model. To create a module, we do a right-click on the icon of the chosen project alternative and move the cursor to New. 
Now we see all available modules at the current project status. To import the CPI XML file from Revit in i2, we need the module BIM qualifier. When the BIM qualifier is created, the module objects is automatically generated as well. We open the screen of the BIM qualifier by double clicking on its icon. In the appearing window, we take a look at the toolbar and select the CPI plus icon to add CPI files for import. In the pop-up window, we select the building model we exported from Revit earlier and load the file. When we look again at the toolbar next to the CPI plus icon, we see the IFC icon. This way we could import an IFC file. In the dominating window in the middle of the screen, we see the different tools of the BIM qualifier. To import the model in the project database, we would select the icon Transfer CPI Data. But we select the model overview and get a look at our imported building model. Now we see our imported building model and reach the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching us and see you next time.